Hello there, Daisy News readers. I'm here, it's Angie Seth, and I'm here with Grenville Pinto, an amazing, amazing musician who is, I would say, taking the violin to a much higher level. And of course, he's here to talk to me about his uh, his love for the violin and, and where things are going. We've got a couple of albums here, a new one right here we're also going to talk about as well. But Grenville, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Angie. So you started playing at the age of seven. What was it that gave you that edge to say, this is, the, this is what I want to do for my, in, in my life, for my living? When I was seven, I had no idea. <laughs> no idea. Um, I, I lived across the street from a school, and my mom saw the kids going to school with their little violin cases, and she asked, do I want to do that? And I said, yeah, okay. I didn't know any better. It's like trying a video game. And, and, you, and you come from a family of music, though. Your father, your mother, your sisters, all of them. Your mother played piano. Mm -hmm. uh, your father was he a singer. My father sings, yeah, to this yeah. day he still sings. And, and then your yeah. sisters are also uh, right. musicians as well. Mm -hmm. So what was that like growing up in a family of music? A lot of noise, a lot of fun, and uh, a lot of, of sing-songs. Yeah. Uh, both my sisters play keyboards, okay. and my older sister plays accordion. And a lot of that led to our live performances, which I kind of do um, like to this day, mm -hmm. which is going around at, uh, for various functions where I walk around and entertain people. So my sister would be like maybe maybe 10 years old, I think, at this point, and she'd have her accordion, and we'd walk around to the tables, and we'd learn maybe three or four songs that my dad helped to mm -hmm. teach us, and uh, we'd play those three, four songs over and over again, and we'd entertain a crowd with that. Nice. And uh, since then, the repertoire has expanded a bit. It has. Um, you've done mm -hmm. everything from contemporary to rock and roll, opera you also do, and you also do some Bollywood as well, so you have really pretty much cover the musical genres, uh, you know, sort of right from, it, it's almost like from when I was at an event that you were at, you yeah. threw out a request and you said, okay, and you picked up your violin yeah. and you started playing. So talk to me about that inspiration, um, where that uh, comes from, because you're, the, you, the way you play violin is much different from mm -hmm. your regular classical violin. Yeah. You know, I say it's a personal thing mm -hmm. more. I, I think my, my taste in music is where it, where it all originates from. Uh, the fact I, I used to DJ too when I was a teenager and that got me into more of the top 40 and the rap and the hip hop and mm -hmm. into that scene. And then liking the, um, while being trained classically and being exposed to all different genres of music, there were a few I didn't really care for, mm -hmm. which I won't mention because we're on camera. <laughs> I don't want to get anybody <laughs> offended. But no, I, I'll be honest. And now, and now when I'm at this stage of my life now, I'm open to basically any type of music mm -hmm. and I appreciate the music. Um, but I think... I think that <clears throat> when I was growing up, being exposed to all these different genres of music and, uh, and, and liking them, as a matter of fact, like liking Michael Jackson and then switching and, and listening to something, something classical after mm -hmm. and appreciating that to a certain mm -hmm. degree. But I was more into the beats and all and trying to take what I was kind of forced to learn because mm -hmm. you get a stereotype with the instrument. People think classical, which is true. You need to have that foundation. So I did this classical training, but I like to listen to all this music that everyone else listened to that... I thought I'd bring, wanted to bring back when I was doing it. It wasn't something which was very common, right. where you could take this uh, modern day music and try and mesh it with something that was, um, you know, years and decades and centuries old. Is there a favorite, a favorite type of music or a type of genre that you really tend to steer towards, a, you know, more so than others, or you just kind of leave it open? I, I think it depends what mood I'm in, what the okay. what the um, what the scene is I'm I'm at. Right. If I'm playing for a, for a group of a group of uh, like younger people I want to play something which is which is trendy mm -hmm. maybe more something they can relate to and to see them get excited gets me excited yeah oh we've seen yeah. that and speaking of getting excited a perfect day perfect mm. day which said there it is um, this is your uh, newest album that's right and you've got a number of uh, you've got 12 tracks there's an Indian track on here called Punjab so that's a very interesting one. We're very excited about that. Uh, but a number of beautiful tracks here, and I know you're going to play for us in a minute, but talk to me about putting this one together. Oh, Perfect Day is, um, is a big, big project for me, and I'm very excited, <laughs> very excited for the CD. Um, it's with a, I'll have to say, a dear, I want to call him a friend at this point, but Pavlo, a fantastic guitarist. Mm -hmm. Local musician who's now in the States, tours worldwide, um, just a fantastic musician, very, very talented. And we worked together on this one. Right. I, we wrote songs together, 
and his his uh, style also comes out, and he's playing on the album. Okay. And what we did was, this is uh, a lot of original music, actually. The majority of the songs were songs that, that were composed either by myself or with uh, in, in conjunction with Pavlo, mm -hmm. and some other also, um, like, musicians that I've worked with along the years. Mm -hmm. And when is this going to be released? Around springtime, we're planning for in 2014. Okay, okay. well, we'll mm -hmm. certainly have to look for it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you now, for Now, for the treat for everyone... You're going to play a little bit for okay, us. Okay, sure. Okay, so we're going to get, uh, I think we're going to have something from Perfect Day and maybe a couple of other tracks, but, you know, they see new readers, you're in for a big treat. I'm going to pass it over now to Grenville and his magical violin.